go. Not, not anybody watching my stream quite yet, so I'm not going to bother with, uh... It makes it nice for the video cuts, because I can just, when I see that I've hit around a half an hour, I can just stop and restart the stream. Because it records automatically. Auto magically, if you will. Alrighty. So luckily, this makes it pretty easy right here. I can just build sort of a floor. I can actually make this even the part side where I put all my tools and stuff. I think I'll do that. Let's get some more torches up here. I like to do every fourth, two, four. There we go. And that should be straight back from the. Uh, whoops. do is I'm just going to make myself a floor right here. At least that's less digging, guys. Let's be honest. It might be a little boring watching me make a floor, but at least that's less digging I have to do right this second. So I'm going to move this torch to back there, I think. I'll put one down there, too. Just to keep zombies from spawning behind my wall. Because that is one thing we don't need right this second. Or ever, really. Being a hardcore game. But especially right this second. Because who wants to listen to cold zombies? <laughs> you can thank my fiancé for that joke. First time I ever had that happen, I was just sitting there saying, I was like, I think they're just cold. They don't want brains, they're just freezing. <laughs> Give those bastards a blanket! They'll leave you alone! <laughs> they don't want brains, they just want a blanket! Oh, sorry, there's no blankets in Minecraft. At least... At least not to my knowledge. Alright. Sweet. Tiny dirt hut achieved. Uh... Okay. I think we should have... Let's check the brightness level right in the center of the room. Uh, not enough. So right here I need a torch. For those of you who wonder about brightness level, uh, zombies, and monsters actually in general, can spawn in brightness level of... I think it's... It's less than 8. So it ha if it's 7 or under, monster, it's dark enough for monsters to spawn. We don't want monsters to spawn in the middle of our hut. So if you look when I hit, you press F3, it brings up these window, this uh, data in the top of the screen there. And in that F3 window, on the second to bottom row, where it says LC111, B colon mountain, BL colon 13, SL colon 8, RL colon 13. I don't know what a lot of that means. I know the B colon biome means we're in a mountain biome, B for biome. Um, and I know the BL is the brightness level. And that shows you, like, I'm sitting on a torch, so right now brightness level is 13, because torch gives off 13 in this square it's placed. If I move this, you'll see it drops to 8, and then kind of gets dark. And as you move away, look, there's 12, because I'm, I'm 1 away from the torch, it drops by 1 every block away you get. So if I go out diagonally, you see it drops to 11, because it's 2 blocks, technically. It's over 1 and down 1. See? So you go over 1, down 1, 11. So the way that I tend to place torches, I like to do every third, because I like to do odd numbers between them. So this works out, but right in the dead center, uh, the BL is 8. You can see I said the BL is 8. But as I said, if it's less than 8, they can spawn, so you'd think, oh, why can't they, why can they spawn right there then? Well, it's because the brightness level is 8 at head level. Your character is too tall, as you can see. If I go back up here next to my workbenches, you can see I'm too tall. So when it asks, when it's talking about brightness level, it's, it's at your head level. It's too tall at my head level. So at feet level, it's actually 7. So right there in that one block height, it's one block width, it's dark enough. So, that's your nerd, that's your, uh, your nerd, um, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Oops. That's your nerd lesson for the time being. 
the furnace right there. My crafting table. I'm gonna put it right here. Grab my this is my tool station. Grab my view to right here. Uh, stencil table. Grab the patterns out of here. The reason why you do that is because your part builder, as you can see, can see everything inside your chest. The idea is... Oh, shit. No, no, no. I'm fucking scary and hardcore guys. That just scared the piss out of me right there. <laughs> That's why I don't want a wooden door. I need an iron door. I would go out there and try to get those, those those rotten flesh, but I'm afraid of like his tail and coming out of nowhere shooting me to death. Oh, you zombies, Jesus. Go away. I don't want any. Whatever you're selling. Be here upgrading to an iron door soon. That way they can't just break it down and come in and murder me. I don't want zombies coming in eating my nipples off. I don't want that to be a thing. So anyway, um, that was I talking about. Oh right, part builder. So you make your pattern, you put it in this special pattern chest, and then the part builder can see the patterns. And when you want to make one, you can just grab it out of here and stick it right there, and then you can stick whatever material you're going to make it out of. And bam, look, large stone plate. It takes eight cobblestone to make a cone stone plate. But we're not doing it right now. And then you can just stick it back in the part builder, and bam, look, it's back in the part builder. And it actually interacts with the inventory. So if I put it there and leave it, it'll stay there. And if I look in here, it's not in there anymore. You can see that the part builder is, is storing it, and it can even interact with this inventory. So the idea is you build your pattern. Jesus Christ. Damn it! I'm trying to teach people! Yeah. So the idea is you make your pattern. Like you saw me do earlier, drop it in the pattern chest. You can interact with the pattern chest here. You get your part out of here, like your plate. You take it off there, and then you can build it in your tool station. So you just go down the road here, and this just a crap deal. I'm getting spiders. So I like to make a couple of furnaces. Jesus Christ! Maybe I should drop my damn bed. Just line up, guys! It's a fucking circus! <laughs> Jesus. And I'm gonna put my bed way the fuck back here in this corner. Maybe I'll even sleep in this bed. Let's make it daytime. Let's see if we can uh, get some zombies to fry, except for we can't because, well, it's. that experience is to look. Oh, now it's not raining. Sweet. I just gotta worry about that spider I can hear out there. Oh, Jesus. Why aren't you burning? Well, apparently he was burning because he only had one hit point left. Spider. It's daytime, so he's not aggro, I don't think. Okay, good. Sometimes that's a thing. I guess spiders are supposed to be not aggro during the day and aggro during the nighttime, but sometimes they chase your ass at night, and I'm not sure why. If anybody that knows why and wants to tell me, go for it. That'd be nice to know. I hate these puddles, by the way, that's stupid. <laughs> okay. So, let's, uh,. You know what I can do, actually? Now that I have this door and I don't want this door anymore, I could 
Yeah, well, it seems a little cheap to me. Let's do it anyway. Whatever, who cares? Um, going to do this. We'll get a trap door. Take this out of here. Let me put a trap door in. Because zombies can't get through the trap door. And because of the trap door, I guess they can't break it down either. So, yay! <laughs> uh, the only thing I don't like about the trap door method, like a lot of people, they swear by it, and they're like, yes, trap door, now that nothing can break it down and, and get in. Well, that's true, nothing can break it down. But, a skeleton can shoot right through here. <laughs> so you kind of get a trade-off. It's like, do you want skeleton shooting at you, or do you want zombies breaking down your door? And I guess of the two evils, it's better to have the trap door because nothing can get in at you, and you can just stand to the side so the zombie can't see you. Or I guess you can just place a piece of dirt right there over the trap door, and then nothing can see you. But zombies can get in there, and I think spiders, I think spiders can actually get through there too. I think spiders are small enough to get through that one gap. I don't know. You know what? We can find out. Let's find out. Time for a little bit of an adventure. I am scared to death right now because I'm going to kill the spider. But we have the morph mod. Morph mod lets you morph into the monsters you've probably been seeing every time I kill something. It's the little husk of it comes at me. It's like, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, that's part of the morph mod. When you morph, when you kill something, you get its pattern, you can morph into it. Yeah, spider. Nah, yeah, spider. Oh, shit. Good God, fighting anything. Scary as hell in this game when you're hardcore. Do you see that thing the little husk came at me? So you press your left and right brackets, and you can shift through the things you killed. And now I have two different types of zombies. I think it's... Is it... Arrow, or is it tab? No, it's not tab. Uh, shift, control, alt, no. I uh, forget exactly how to do this. I have two different zombies, and there's... Maybe it's a shift bracket? Yeah, okay. So you hold shift, and you move the left and right bracket. You can move between the two. You have access to and just regular left and right bracket up and down through the... You press enter when you want to morph. And I'm turning into a spider. Bow! Now I'm a spider. And you take on the uh, properties of whatever you morph into. So as a spider, for example, you can climb up walls. Uh... Awesome, huh? So I can just climb up this wall all day. But the problem is spiders can still take falling damage... So you still want to be careful about jumping off of things. But it's... I think spiders basically just act like they're, they're going up a ladder. So the reason why I want to do this is now that I can be a spider, uh, close my trap door here, and I want to see if I can get through this opening. Because I think spiders can... Can that be a thing? Apparently not. I know tiny spiders can, those jungle spiders or whatever, that are, like, not very big, but... I could have swore spiders could get... I know they're only one high. So I guess if this was a... Oh, you can still use your tools and shit, too, when you're morphed, guys. That's the other cool thing, is you can still see. Okay, so yeah, looks like they're just... Yeah. They're only one high, so you can you can skitter through here. Maybe they can skitter through here, too. Oh, shit. Pfft. That was a bad life choice. Uh, let's put the trap door against this side. Yeah, that works. Okay, so they can't skitter under them, because that is basically tech. This is technically taking up the. Uh, this is te te technically taking up the lower part. Unless this is open. If this is open, can you? Yeah. So that's open. You can skitter underneath, but. Yeah. Okay. So we're good underneath. And if this is open, then they can. So I guess regular sized spiders need a too wide opening in order to. Uh, So you're, you're spider safe here. That was the whole point of doing that, guys. It's a good way to test your doors or your windows or gaps in your wall or whatever if you want to see if monsters can get through. Just morph into one if you've got the morph mod installed. And you can tell pretty easy if you can get... If monsters can get through there or not. So as we can see now, all we need to worry about is skeletons shooting through there. Let's make a couple more picks here. Just wanted to get this coal out of the ceiling really quick. Forgot 
forgot to do that while I was... I was so into getting my house set up that I forgot to grab that coal. So we're going to grab this coal up. Yes, coal. There we go. And my neurotic time where I fill in everything and people get bored. Oh shit, he's replacing what he's dug out. I do it a lot. Sorry. <laughs> no! <laughs> Shit. Uh, oh, well, whatever. I will... Place this up there. And it's not like we don't have a million cobblestone. There we go. Sweet. Alright, let's make a, uh, make a couple chests really quick here. in there. I'm going to put you guys in here. That can go in there, that can go in there, that can go in there. Keep the food on me. Sort that up. Oh, inventory tweaks. Amazing, isn't it? Alright, um, I don't need all this cobblestone on me right this minute, but what I want to do next is I want to go and find some rubber trees. Oh, here's a cool thing, guys. Uh, you can make a ladder, and you can combine the trapdoor with the ladder, and you get a jaded ladder. And this is from Jaded, I think, was the person who had the idea for this. But for anybody that's ever built a trapdoor above a ladder and were pissed off that they couldn't walk up the ladder, look, this acts like a ladder. Look at that. See, I just climbed up the thing. Just jump. It acts like a ladder. See? It's pretty awesome. And I like to start all my mining tunnels with it. At least until I get bat form. Because as a bat, you can fly just like a bat can fly. Uh, how much... Oh, shit. Well, let's just take a quick gander around here. See if we get some rubber trees going on. Not a lot of daylight. I don't see any rubber trees. They're pretty distinctive. We should be able to just poke our head out here. I think that's it over there. See those green leaves off in the distance really quick here? Oh, sweet berry bushes. Hot sex! Berry bushes are a form of food. They'll be really convenient when I run out of meat. Oh, there's an uh, industrial craft rubber tree. I was looking for the Minecraft rubber trees because they're just easier for chopping down. You don't have to tap them, but I guess a regular rubber tree would work too. My server admin, Xavier McMage, as I mentioned a hundred times. Oh, fuck. Zombies. There's a zombie. Oh, shit. He's coming for me. I can feel it. Must be underground. There must be a hollow underground here somewhere. Just have to keep an eye out. Anyways, Avery Mage, when he when he set this up for us, he made it so that no, oh, it's not. Fuck, it's not a Minecraft rubber tree. Uh, he set it up so that Mine Factory Reloaded Rubber and Industrial Craft Rubber are interchangeable in recipes. So if I go to look, for example, let's go with uh, Cable. Oops. C A B. Like just this is regular Industrial Craft cabling. So here's insulated copper cable. This rubber, see look, there's the rubber bar. Rubber bar is mine factory loaded version of rubber. So it's interchangeable in recipes for the most part. I think there's a few that might not use it, but... Oh, shitty titties. Alright, well at least we know that this rubber tree is here. I'm going to run back, run back home really fast and sleep and then come back and take this rubber tree apart. And hopefully I'll get a couple of saplings and I can tap that bitch. I'll tap it. Oh sweet, another type of... Awesome. Um, I don't know where all the things come from. I know that certain mods add certain things. So, for those of you crazy nerds out there that know everything always, apologies <laughs> beforehand. <laughs> More nerd rage, because I won't know where everything comes from. For example, those, uh, those, those berry bushes, I don't know exactly where they come from, which mod gives them. But I know that there's several different types. There's blackberries, there's blueberries, there's raspberries, and there's, I think, mangoes, I want to say? I should make a tap really quick. Um, I don't know where they all come from, but I do know that you can combine them with a bowl, and you will get um, like a like a fruit mix, like a fruit cocktail or something like that. I forget exactly what it's called. I think it's fruit mix. Maybe it's fruit cocktail. I don't know. But um, 
you combine the, the th you need three different kinds of berries, and you combine them to get a fruit mix, and it's as good as eating bread. Like, berries themselves, are, they aren't that good. You can eat them basically like candy, and they don't do anything for you, really. I mean, they'll keep you alive. Mm. Oh, there's the hole. Oh, that's just a... <laughs> just a puddle of shit. Um, they'll keep you alive, mm. but uh, where, where it's really helpful is it's like eating bread if you make the fruit mix. And then it's just a nice way, because they'll, they'll just regrow. I mean, it's instead of having a crazy animal farm setup, which I'm going to do anyway, because, you know, animal drops. <laughs> you can instead... Um, eat the fruit mix, and it's like eating bread. And of course, this tree tap, or this rubber tree has no tree taps in it, so... Damn it. Um, so I'm going to wait to get into a little while later. At least I got a little bit of rubber. So, some rubber, some rubber wood. Let's see if I can get a sapling or two out of this. There's one. One sapling. <laughs> oh, two saplings. Woo! Okay. So we're going to take these saplings over here, and I'm going to chop down... This is an apple tree. I think we want to keep those apple trees intact. Yeah. I don't want to chop down these trees. Because you get fruit out of these trees. We'll leave those alone for now. Come back for more wood later. Chop this tree. So I wanted to get some rubber rubber farm going here. Because part of Mine Factory Loaded is one of my favorite items in the game called the Deep Storage Unit. Um, if anybody's familiar... Oh, there's another rubber tree. Sweet. If anybody's familiar with... Uh, with um, factorization. Uh, the barrels, where you can store just shit tons of one type of item in them. Uh, deep Storage Unit is kind of the same thing except for it holds way more than a barrel ever did. So it's a really nice way to hold stuff that you have millions of, like cobblestone and dirt and gravel. I tend to I tend to make a bunch of them from like redstone, lapis, just things that you get a lot of that you don't want to be, you know, clogging up chests with. It's kind of one of the things I like to do. At least for sorting, so, sorting stuff. And unlike barrels, you can break a deep storage unit and it holds its inventory. And then you can carry it around and move it and place it down and stuff like that, so that's kind of a nice thing. Especially because we're not going to be living in the side of a mountain forever. <laughs> awesome. Except for not really, because I was hoping to get another sapling out of that, but whatever. So, let's... Hmm. I don't want to do this. I just set up rubber trees somewhere. I guess I'll just set it up out here somewhere. I guess it doesn't matter for the time being. So I'm just, just going to be moving it later. So we'll just do this. Oh, that's underneath the tree. Solid plan. Okay. Now I'll just go ahead and go up here or whatever. This doesn't, it's not a big deal either way. I'm going to put a torch between these guys. My neurosis is showing again. There we go. Alright, so we'll get a couple rubber trees out here. And then hopefully I'll be able to come out and tap them for rubber. And then I want to... I guess I'm going to go with IC2 machinery. to initially, but it's probably a good idea. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to rearrange this a little bit, I think. I moved my bed a 
I'll put my digging corner over there, I think. Or you know what? I'll just make a little dip in the wall here for my digging hole. Let's move this over. Put this in the very corner, I think. So I'm going to have to dig out some more of this wall, I think, at some point in order to put in my, um... I'll probably put the smeltery outside, or maybe I'll dig another... Maybe I'll dig another room this way for the smeltery, or behind this way. Or just extend this out, probably, at some point. Because this is way too small of a room for me completely... To be completely honest with you guys, I like giant rooms. So... Yeah, let's move this around, I think. Switch these sides. Uh, crafting table. Furnace. Chests. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> Drop all this stuff in there. Cobblestone. Yeah, okay. Then I can put my furnaces there. I'll even make another furnace, I think. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. And then I will make this my machine side here. Then we can get our extractor and everything in there once we get cables going on. But I need iron and tin and stuff for that. And I think iron and tin now spawns at any level, or at least if it... If it's not supposed to, it does, because my server admin is awesome. I'm going to move this again. Put this over here. Hopefully there won't be monsters nearby, right outside the frickin' wall there, keeping me from sleeping at night. <clears throat> because I think I want to... That'll be a wall. Eventually. Sorry guys, I am being struck struck in the face by indecision right now. Uh, 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 um. No, you know what? I can't have that there because I want to be able to sleep even if there's monsters outside to get rid of them. So we got to keep the bed right there. And I'm going to, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. Sorry guys, this is what happens when you play Minecraft. You got to move everything all the time. Um, I'll just move this for the time being. Move it. Let's see. Not going to make an electric furnace because of these. I have better furnaces installed, so I'm going to be upgrading these furnaces into other types of furnaces in the future. Some people think better furnaces is super OP, but whatever. I like OP if you have to put the work in to get it, and you definitely have to put the work in to getting better furnaces going. I, that's just one of the things that drives me nuts. People are like, oh, it's OP, it's game breaking. Who cares? If it takes if it takes a good amount of work, if it's properly balanced, it's worth it. It doesn't matter to me. So let's see. <coughs> no, excuse me. Uh, so I think we'll have generator right there, and then we'll have extractor. Yeah, we'll have extractor, compressor, macerator right there. So I can come all the way out to here. I can move these over two more. So we'll grab you. Put you there. We'll grab you. Put you there. Put you there. And then I can 
grab these patterns out of here really quick. Move this over. Excellent. And then what I'm going to do is eventually I'm going to probably break, put, make a doorway probably I think right here. Or just break this wall down entirely or something. I don't know exactly for sure yet what I want to do. And then I'm going to use that as, no I'm going to keep the wall there I think. I'll make a little doorway into the next room where the uh, smeltery will be on the exact opposite side of this stuff here. I think that's a good plan. Yeah, whatever. This is just a temporary hut. There are many like it, but this one is mine. So, uh... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, that's right. I was trying to avoid this. Oh, fuck, damn it. Piece of son of a shit. Okay. Uh, why does it look like I'm underwater when I'm not underwater? I'm only ways deep in the water. Why does it look like... Look at the water haze, guys. That's a little weird. What the hell? Alright, whatever. Um, let's get down here really quick. Fill this in. I don't want water coming down on my head. That's not... That's something I don't need when I'm making a mining tunnel. And then we will... This will be the back of the tunnel. So we'll get that going like that. Let's put a torch back here just in case monsters decide to spawn. I don't know how they would, but whatever. And then we'll get this and this. And then we'll get... I'm going to put the ladder up against this. So actually I think I'm going to go too wide here. Well, it's acting like I'm mining underwater too. It's really weird. That is really weird. I'm not sure why it's doing that. That's a fun glitch. <laughs> okay. So this is where I'm going to have mining tunnel. Let's get my jaded ladder here. Place it against this one right there, and then I can use that as ladder to get out. Boink. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I need to grab some cobblestone. <laughs> There we go. Excellent. And then I can get some ladders, and right there. Excellent. So the way I like to make my mining tunnels is, as you see right now, and I can just come right up into my into my house, just take a corner usually and, and do it this way, and then I'll have a little light, light, light side for the a little, bit, a little parallel tunnel for the light on one side. And I get on five at a time, so we're going to go one. There's one below the torch. There's two, three, four, and five. And I just broke the cardinal rule of Minecraft, which is don't ever dig underneath you. And I didn't bring any ladders. And I didn't bring a crafting table. <laughs> ah, so prepared. It's okay, I like to carry a crafting table on me anyway, so I should make one regardless. Sweet. So let's do a quick video cut for the purposes of uploading to YouTube really fast here. <laughs> 